To be a Christian is to participate in the crucifixion and the death of Christ. We have to ask, what does that mean? Well, if you look at the cross, you look at a person who was torn from the political, from the social, and from the religious. On the cross, Christ loses everything, is torn out of everything that gives him meaning, gives him significance, and gives him place. And when we participate in the death of Christ, we too have to undergo that experience of being torn away from everything that gives us meaning and significance. Consumerism, uh, the, the uh, political or social environment that we live within, all of that gets torn away. Um, I actually remember my conversion when I was 17. Uh, I came home to my parents the, the day it happened. And it's terrible. I told them I'm no longer part of your family. I then got all my stuff and threw it out. And I stopped going to tech where I was doing a course in computer studies. Now, that was all a bit mad. But at the core, I was trying to say something. What I was trying to say was the values that I'd been brought up with no longer constrain me. And so symbolically, my parents represented the way I'd been brought up. And so it wasn't really them I was rejecting, although I said it in that terms, those terms. It was really the whole uh, value system that I'd, been, that I'd grown up with. It, knew, it no longer had power. And when I threw all my stuff out, I didn't have anything of real value. It was just posters of bands that I liked and you know, cars that I wanted to drive. Uh, but they were all aspirational. They showed what my value systems were. And when I came home that day, it just didn't mean anything anymore. Those things that I once idolized had no value. And when I stopped going to tech, uh, that represented getting a job, settling down, going into middle management. And suddenly I just didn't want to do it anymore. I experienced this radical negation where I was ripped out of everything. And the church for me is a place where we experience that on a, a regularly, even weekly. The liturgical hour is the space where we walk into the church and divest ourselves of our identity. That's why Paul said there's neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female. But you know what, let's push that further. There's neither Republican nor Democrat. There's neither CNN nor Fox News. There's neither Protestant nor Catholic. In that space, all of these identities are laid down. Why? Because Christ laid down all identity, becoming nothing. So in laying down our identity, we identify with the one who considered himself nothing and laid everything down. So the church is a type of desert in the oasis. It's a place we go to be scorched, to die. And when we die to ourselves, then there's the possibility that we can be reborn, that we can be renewed, so that when we leave that space, we take up our identities again, because you know, you can't forget if you're a man or a woman, you can't forget if you're Republican or Democrat, but you take those identities up in a different way. They no longer define who you are. You may still believe the politics, but you're open to being changed, you're open to being challenged, you're opening to listen to other people, and you no longer debate as friend and enemy, because you've met in the liturgical space, you've met in church, so you argue as friends, you argue as comrades and as, and as brothers and as sisters.